everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today, a very special guest. I'm here with my sister Olivia. She was in one of my last YouTube videos. Um, and today we are at our grandma's house. This is grandma's house edition. Um, and she's going grandma to, Piper. Grandma Piper. And she's going to be giving us a tutorial on I'm making just an easy everyday smoothie that is like a starter smoothie. It doesn't have too many things in it that are gonna upset someone's stomach if they aren't used to smoothies. Um, it's just a basic easy smoothie. That's yeah, good. I'm just along for the ride, but this is Liv So. She's got all the ingredients here and without further ado. We have a live studio audience also. Woo! Um, Thank you, so, Grandma. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> so I today I am making like freezer bag smoothies for my grandma so she can just pop them out of the freezer and throw them in the uh, Ninja really easy. So I'm just gonna start out with all the berries. So we just got a mixed berry uh, blend for her. I just always have strawberries in it because strawberries seem to give off the most taste with along with the banana and mask the flavor of like the spinach and stuff. Um, so I always make sure to have strawberries and blueberries. Um, the raspberries and blackberries are just kind of an added bonus because um, they're typically more expensive. So. so first thing I do is even when I'm making the smoothies I add just a little bit of the berries. And I don't measure any of it out. I just do like <laughs> about like this much in the berries. About that much. How much that is. Mm -hmm. Now the spinach is already washed three times, so you don't have to wash it, which is good. Then I take a ton of spinach, like two handfuls of this, shove it in here. And you have good stuff in you, the greens. Another handful, just two handfuls of spinach. And then, I used to make them like this. Now we've got, let's see, I'll do the flaxseed. So whenever you have flaxseed in your smoothies, you wanna make sure that they're milled because if they're not, then it's just actual seeds and that can stick to the lining and give you a diverticulitis and stuff like that. It's just not good. And good. serving size, I do a tablespoon per smoothie. So sometimes if Zach and I are both having the smoothies, then we'll do two tablespoons. So for just for grandma, we'll do one tablespoon. Um, let's see, Is it over here, right here. The measuring should be right in front of me. Here we go. There we go. One tablespoon. Also, I'm eating soup, so don't mind me. One tablespoon of the milled flax, and I love uh, Bob's Red Mills. It's the best. He's their egg replacer too, it's really good. Um, now we'll do the banana. And I do one banana per smoothie, but since we're just doing like a little sampler one, I'll just do half of the banana. But the banana makes it like smoother too. That's why I add the banana, because then I don't have to add as much of this. It just makes it creamier. It's good. You know what? Let me see. I'm gonna add actually all of it. And then we'll just add the protein powder and the milk. It's so easy. Zach and I both make smoothies and I make the butter smoothie out of us. Oh, okay. It's true, oh, I, I did. I do, he even acknowledged it the other day. <laughs> I make a better smoothie than Zach oh. does. Yeah. I used to make a smoothie every morning in the summer yeah. when I would get up and go nannying, but I kind of fell off of it. But it's a good habit to get in. And once you're like in it and you're doing it and it's like good and it's, you well, and then you make time for it every day. Right. Well, and having them prepped will be so easy. So you can just literally pop them out and then this would literally be everything that you, Perfect. that all freeze for you. And then you would just have to add Do you want to the flax the camera? and then have to add the protein Perfect. and the milk. So flax, protein, and milk. It is three things. Flax, protein, and milk. Yeah. It's easier than having to add the spinach, banana, all of it. Every day. Yeah. Okay, now this protein powder is the best protein powder. Um, I am vegan. I've been vegan since January last this year. Um, and I tried many different protein powders that said that they were plant-based and they tasted awful. They were all powdery and 
they were just gross. They tasted gritty. I didn't like it. Um, so this Orgain protein powder, um, it's wonderful. The man who started the brand, he got cancer at a really young age, and then it was like his mission to live a healthier lifestyle. And so he founded this Orgain protein blend. Um, I wish I was sponsored by them. <laughs> okay. I wish we could say sponsored, but okay. And so sponsored. for each serving size, it's two scoops of the little scooper that they give you. So just toss one scoop in there. And I got the vanilla um, for my grandma, and I always get the vanilla too, just because I don't yeah. like chocolate. But they do have a chocolate flavor as well. I got the vanilla too, which I'm not sure the chocolate is. I don't think I've had anybody try it, but I know. And now this is just like their basic one. But there is one that has superfoods in it too, and the superfoods one has the blue top. Um, Meyer didn't have the superfoods one. I like the superfoods one because it has like avocado and quinoa and a bunch of other really good things in there. So if they ever have the blue can one, always get the blue one because everybody can use more superfoods because it has the superfoods in it. And this one is still really good for you. It's just their basic plant-based protein powder, gotcha. um, 150 calories and 21 grams of protein. So, and it also had something else. Awesome. And it and it has the chia seeds in there. Yes. So chia you, seeds, pea and protein, brown rice, fiber. Yeah, and I usually and I usually put <laughs> I usually put quinoa as well as flax seeds in here. But since this already has the chia seeds in here. I, uh, oh, I don't put quinoa in here. I put chia seeds and I put flax seeds in here. That'd be disgusting to put quinoa. But um, this one already has the chia seeds. And so like for starting out, I just will use this. I wouldn't put chia seeds in my grandma's because I don't want her stomach to be too upset by it. Um, <laughs> but a lot of people do put chia seeds in them. Yeah, but they're used to smoothies. Yeah. I don't want it to like totally Like our dad is huge on... The like the green smoothie and yeah, but so and, and I and I put ch I put more chia seeds in mine. But to start out for a beginner smoothie, I wouldn't add any more, and I wouldn't add any more flax seed either because the flax seed is what's gonna like move right through you, so and clean you out. So, okay, on to the oat milk, and I really I just like eyeball this. I don't do anything special. Here, I don't look. measure it. Um, maybe that's bad. I should. That'd probably be good enough, to be honest. Okay. And if it's a little too thick, all you have to do is pour water in there. Okay. Which is so easy. Okay. And this is Planet Oak. So we were at the store, we looked at all the different sugars that were on the milk, and the almond milk, all of the almond milk that wasn't vanilla, like, that was just like the unsweetened, that had like no grams of sugar, but if you want vanilla, a lot of the almond milks have like 10 grams of sugar still. And this one only has four grams. So All if right. you want like a better taste to it. Have you used your ninja before? Once. Once, okay. So <laughs> you're, gonna set, you're gonna set it in here, but then you gotta lock it in. Yes, lock Turn it, it in. And then literally- It'll be like a mixer. Do ultra- <laughs> It up for you, and it'll look green. <laughs> there's enough to share. Okay, there's enough to share. No, this is usually like mm -hmm. serving size for one person. Okay. I'm not gonna make you drink all of this and force it down your throat, but okay. um, this is like normal serving That's size one. for the amount of stuff I put in here. Okay. Well, I could, but it would take me a lot, and then it is. Yeah. Let's see. I'm it's gonna a add lot. a little more water. Oh, so my. I'm gonna add a little more water to it just because it looks just a little thicker, and I think mm -hmm. it's because um, I'm usually doing it in like a huge ninja blender, mm -hmm. and I'm not used to doing it in the little single serve ones. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of water. <laughs> I was telling her I used to make smoothies every day, like this. Yes, you did. I okay. did, but I know I didn't. This is it. This is the only thing I didn't put in it. I had all the other stuff. I used to have to clean the ninja every day. That's right. You did. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> I would fill it up with water though to let it soak. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. It work at seven a.m. Doesn't look green. It looks kind of brownish, but it it just tastes really good. I just took a little like. Oh. 
Don't you want to bring grandma on camera? No. Come here, grandma. No. No. Taste test no. live, please. No. <laughs> Oh, is that's it? good. Isn't it good? Yes, that is good. I can taste the banana. Bananas. It's really good, right? You can taste the bananas. Mm -hmm. And that's healthy. That's good for you. All right, it's I so think we need to get another yeah. another little taste test. Let's give some to moms. Coming to you. That's good. That's good. It's too good to taste for it. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> I approve. Uh, All right, everybody. I think that's that's it, right? Yeah, depending on the size of smoothie you have or the size of the Ninja or whatever blender, um, you can obviously put however much fruit you want in there. Um, I always put like a ton of blueberries, a ton of strawberries if I have room for it. So, um, I mean, the more the better. Um, not less is more, more is better. So more fruit you can get in there, just put in there. Alrighty, thank you so much for joining me today on my channel. I'm sure that they liked it. And maybe we'll do more in the future, more Grandma's grandma's Kitchen, more, grandma's more episodes kitchen. from Grandma's Kitchen. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay updated for if I am uploading any more videos, hopefully soon. Um, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. <laughs>